up? So it's your girl April and I am here to do a video. I'm about to show you guys that I'm about to go and attempt to do my damnedest to make this wig using Charming Hair's 360 degrees lace frontal. Now I did showcase a frontal by them a like a month ago and they really didn't require me to do anything but just show the frontal. They didn't send me any bundles of hair, they just sent me the frontal. And so this time around they wanted me to make a wig. So they did send me a frontal again, a 360, and they also did send me uh, three bundles of hair which is more than enough. So first of all, let's talk about this 360 closure. I am not about to be heartbroken and given a headache and stressed out over no closures. Seriously, or frontals, okay? So we're going to have to work this out the best that we can, April, because I am not about to put myself through school and back just because of a frontal. That is not about to happen. Not today. Mm -mm, no. So this frontal right here is a little bit different than the first one that they sent me, which is unfortunate because the first one that they sent me was a silk top one and it has some hooks up in the back of that baby, but it was straight. So I don't know. Your girl might have to go and use that one. That was straight hair, but let me tell you something. At the end of the day, it's all the same. I do prefer them hooks. And it has nothing to do with the silk top. It just has to do with those daggone hooks. So you can get different closure, um, frontals from their website. They don't all have to have hooks. However, I feel like this. If you have one with hooks, then make them all with hooks. Because customers will really feel a lot more better if you do them all like that. So this is their frontal, their 360 frontal. And let's see, from the looks of things, I ain't got to customize this, which is even better because it is is all thinned out on the sides and all throughout the perimeter of it which is very helpful to me because let me tell you something I am really not into all of that customization stuff I'm really not but I do like these baby hairs on this and I like this it's just a challenge to make and I really wish it had some hooks so that I could tighten my head up but we're gonna see how that works out yes babies we about to see how this works out That's, the bundles are um, 14 a 14 okay so they sent me all 14 inch bundles three 14 inch bundles like that frontal is either a 12 or a 14 inch you know what I mean I'm not really sure but listen listen Linda listen Linda I'm not gonna stress myself out about it I'm just going to get to doing this and see how long this takes me okay but either way let's get on to this video you guys and if it comes out really great <clears throat> Then, of course, I will do a tutorial on it at a later date with another one. All right, you guys. So, I am done with this 360 frontal. And let me tell y'all something. They are a little bit overrated and a lot of work. Um, in my opinion, they are really, really overrated and a lot of work. But I think that they're really overrated sometimes because they're really big. They don't fit everyone's head. So, you have all of this gapping and you have to actually act like MacGyver. If you guys don't know who MacGyver is, just Google MacGyver and they will tell you. He is one that used to rig up stuff to make all kinds of explosives and inventions and that's how I felt with this unit right here I use the spandex mesh dome cap like everybody else does and when you cut it off you do um, get excess elastic and excess fabric from the cap so what I did with that excess elastic from the cap is I used it I did use it because I didn't want it to go to waste I do have my own elastic but I figured I'll just use this so that way I can preserve mine so when I did that I did notice that the back had just like this gaping gaping hole in it meaning like space rather there's so much space in the nape area I just was like oh my god it needs either hooks or it needs something to make it fit properly so then I had to go and put another piece of elastic just to make it fit really tight in the nape area. And on top of that, it was still kind of like a space. So I then had to kind of like pinch the fabric, the lace together and kind of sew it. So the bottom portion is sewn tighter. 
this to me is a lot of work and honestly in my opinion I really think they're overrated because they don't have like a sure fit it's kind of like one size fits all and I'm not really up for that because each person's head size is totally different some people's hair is more thicker which makes them need a bigger cap for me this was just a little bit too big but it is what it is I just let it air dry I hung it upside down with a hanger from the strap and this is the outcome of it it looks so wavy I did make a part on it I'm not gonna glue it down I'm not gonna do all of that because like I said it's a lot of work and me for one I'm gonna be honest with you I really don't like these 360s at all but we're gonna see what it do and how it looks so let's get into this so we can finish this video she wants to wonder, won't get high grade from a distance, baby. I'm going. Okay, so let's just talk about this because I'm not going to aggravate myself any more than I've already been. I wish you guys could feel the gaping, the sagging. It's these 360s. I'm not really sure what the big deal is about these 360s, but I'm going to tell you guys one thing. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of them. Like, I'm seriously really not a huge fan of them. They make these, like, average size where everybody's head is supposed to fit, but in reality, everyone's head is not going to fit the circumference of a 360 frontal it's just not going to work out so in return they make them big enough so that way it can at least fit and you'd have to kind of like rig it up i'm not really sure there's so many videos and i've watched so many of them of how they make them and no one ever seems to show the nape area of how it's supposed to look or is it sagging and here's the nape area like there's elastic upon elastic and i just i'm just really not feeling this at all Plus, if you guys can see, like, my hand is, look at this, like, God. It's really just, like, not a fit that I would want to wear. Like, I really, honestly, would not feel safe with this outside. And on top of that, I'm trying to figure out, now, the ear tabs. The ear tabs, okay, great, there are ear tabs on it. But my ears are not right here and right here. Like, if you're going to make something universal, there has to be some type of give and take with this. Like, let me get some hooks, let me get some snaps, let me get something, okay? Some Velcro, something. I like the frontals, though. Don't get me wrong, and I love closures. But the 360, I could just really, really do without. I think it's kind of like overrated in my opinion. It's super duper overrated. The hair quality, though, is amazing. Like, the hair on this wig is amazing. For it to be a body wave and for it to come out like this still wavy, then, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. They do have some awesome hair on their website. But me, personally, I'm not really like a huge fan of these 360s. So, what I tried again, I'm going to try it again. The next one I'm going to try is going to have to have some hooks. If not, then I'm just really not into them. Um, I'm just really not into them. Let me know your opinion on these 360s. But honestly, the way the hairline is up here, it's like, okay, it's dipping here. And then it's coming up here. Like, am I missing something? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, seriously. Like, I really don't know what to do. I don't want my lace wig all on my forehead because I just really don't think that's attractive. But, yes, you can check out their website. I will post that for you guys below which is also aliexpress and you guys can let me know what you think of it and on that note stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe i love you guys i'm sorry about the sunlight the sun seems like it just went behind the cloud but i'll see you guys on a soon to come video